Hey guys, welcome back to my closet. <laughs> so if you are not new here, you know that we were decorating my Crocs. It's been a few weeks since I posted a video because I've been so super busy, but let's refresh our memories. So the first one that I had redecorated was these purple. So these are done. Then the second pair was these green ones. The third pair was these multicolor ones. The fourth pair was these mint green ones. The fifth pair is these multicolored ones. Our sixth pair that we decorated together was this, this hot pink pair. And then the last pair that we worked on was for Valentine's Day, and that was these. So this is the next pair of Crocs that I wanted to work on, these marble multicolored ones. The problem with this is you have to really find gibbets that are color coordinated with these. Otherwise, it looks like too busy. So I have a few here, and I'm just going to start... So this gibbet was a part of the Lucky Charms gibbet collection. So put that there because it matches with the colors perfectly. These little 3D mushrooms I thought was really, really cute. And again, they match perfectly color-wise. So I think I'm going to put this in the middle. I love this turquoise little gibbet here. So I'm thinking maybe putting this here. This, I think, was another gibbet that was with the Lucky Charms. See, it's the same color, so I like this, but I think I'm going to put this maybe in the corner here because of the way the gibbet is shaped. Maybe like that. I think that looks good, right? I have another 3D mushroom, so I'm thinking for coordination and for balance, let's put this here. I think that looks cute. It's probably going to take a few gibbet spaces, but I guess that's fine. Maybe putting a unicorn right here. That's kind of pretty, right? And I have another gibbet that is from the Lucky Charms collection. So I'm thinking putting it there. I have this gibbet that's like a chain. And it says love. So I'm thinking maybe, I mean, it's going to take up a lot of the gibbet space, but I don't mind it. So let's try like this. It actually looks really cute, right? That looks cute. And if you hear some Thomas in the background, that's my son. So don't mind that. <laughs> so uh, let's see. I'm thinking maybe putting this gibbet here. Here, maybe here. Let's try it. Is it going to look too cluttered? Let's try one down. No, I don't like it one down. Okay. What about... Like that, maybe? I don't mind that on the side like that. Okay, then maybe this gibbet. So see, this is long, so I feel like this is going to go past the edge of the crock. So I don't like that. So maybe here. Yeah, like that. Okay, and... I have a little peace sign, so maybe that's going to be cluttered. Let's try here. That looks cute. And then to go with the peace theme, I have a little peace sign gibbet. So maybe putting that right under it. That looks cute. And 
and since we have little spaces here, I'm thinking little filler gibbets. So maybe a nice green one to go with the green on the plant. And then a yellow one to go with the yellow piece hand. Okay, so I think this is pretty much done because I, I don't want to put anything here if it's going to clutter it. So that's good. Um, working on this side. Mm, let's calm down. It's cute. Let's try putting this here. Okay, I like that. And I want to put another unicorn maybe on the same. I think this would look cute here. Let's try it. And it's cute because I think it goes with the little unicorn from the Lucky Charms gibbet. So I think that looks perfect. And again, with these spaces, I don't want to put anything too cluttered. So I'm thinking maybe just like a filler gem gibbet in white and putting it there. So I think I am done. Surprisingly, it was very easy because these are really big gibbets, so they take up a lot of space. But I love the way they look. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Yeah. So this is it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.